Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is your RJ. If you don't know me, my name is RJ Redden. I am a uh, founder of Black Belt Bots, and entrepreneurs hire me to create epic experiences because most have a huge struggle getting their message heard online. They're a carbon copy of everybody else. They're shouting into a black hole and they fail to get engagement. So I create epic messaging experiences that motivate people to click that button, connect with you and convert like crazy. Bottom line, I am on a mission to motivate a million people to change their marketing. Today, let's start with you. So today, listen, the folks at True Chat, you know, my partners, my, my peeps, they're, you know, in their mad scientist lab over there, mad computer scientist lab. There's a lot of posters, foods delivered in through the bottom of the door. It's strange. Anyway, they've come up with something that is pretty darn magnificent, actually. Um, and I want to show it to you today. I want to demo this a little bit. Um, a lot of my clients have been, you know, moving over to True Chat as a result of Facebook's changes on March 5th. Um, and, you know, a lot of things happening and, and folks are asking me, okay, what's, why would I choose that system over ManyChat? You know, everybody uses ManyChat, all of that stuff. Well, there's so many reasons um, and we can, you know, I mean, being able to put a bot on your website and not have it go through Messenger, very attractive, um, you know, a lot of things going on there. But one of them is the artificial intelligence aspect of it. So the artificial intelligence aspect of it is the way that they are, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to use AI. All right. This is customer sort of service oriented. When people have a question, when people want to ask something, if you can relate that question to an answer that you already have pre-programmed out, then that is really an excellent thing. Because think of, you know, I, a lot of the folks that I deal with are uh, companies, some of them making, you know, small amounts, some of them making large amounts, but most of, you know, no matter what amount they make, we're, I'm, I'm dealing with all small companies that don't necessarily have the cash to hire 24 seven customer service people. Um, that's a lot of hours to cover. Uh, that's a lot of salary. And then you got people kind of waiting for questions to come in. We all, all of us, coaches, authors, entrepreneurs, um, we speakers, we all want to serve people. We all want to give them that white glove experience. But how do you do that? How do you do that with some personality? How do you do that with a consistent answer every time? And how do you do that without breaking the bank? Well, I'm about to show you how. So greetings, Lindsay Badger. Hello, darling. Um, so for the podcast, um, I am going to a page called truechat.io slash AI search. I will put that in the podcast notes that you, so that you have it. So that if you're listening to this in your car and you want to uh, access it later, you can just click a button. Uh, for everybody else, uh, I have thrown it in the comments and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to throw it in the comments just again, because sometimes certain places don't print those things anyway. So with the AI search that, that is I'm about to show you, there's a whole lot of possibilities. There's a whole lot of possibilities for serving people, not just the people that are potential clients. Let's talk about serving people that have already paid you. It's people that have already bought the service, the class, the whatever it is. They have a quick question. If you are spending your time answering those questions and constantly fielding that stuff and you're repeating yourself over and over and over, this next moment is going to be very interesting for you. So I am going to share my screen here. Um, let's see here. Here we go. So this here uh, is the page that I was just talking about. 
this is, uh, they're calling it an AI search chatbot, but what it uh, is, what it's designed to do is, of course, answer uh, not just the frequently asked questions, but all of the questions. It is, you can make this so that any question that you imagine that people could answer, it could ask, finds an answer from you or finds a resource from you. Hey, I didn't get the PDF. Hey, I didn't get the schedule for the live event. Hey, I need to, you know, uh, you know, do something, accomplish something. Now, some of these, a certain percent of these questions are always going to be unanswerable and we alert people, you know, we alert the people that know these things, the admin folks that know these things, we send them an email. Uh, the system actually does, sends them an email and says, hey, somebody's got a question, here's their contact info, uh, you know, get back to them, would you? Um, so those things are always, you know, every question is answerable theoretically in that regard because we've got a fail safe. But what this is, is we just got a little search box here Type your question here, some question, sample questions to try. So these are questions that they've programmed into the system that are going to, you know, answer what you've got here. So we'll try one of the ones they have below. What is a chat bot? Uh, excellent. And we hit, oh, what did that do? Okay. So it, re it refreshed on me. I didn't expect that. Um, so the, what this one does uh, is print out your question. What is a chat bot? So it'll, it'll put your question above, which I kind of like uh, because sometimes people mistype and they don't realize it and they hit enter before, you know, I do it all the time. And then it gives you a uh, gives you this answer. Uh, chat bots are proven to agree visitor engagement. So this is, you know, this is Ch true chat's answer to what is a chat bot. Really interesting. Uh, really interesting to me um, that, you know, you can answer that question and then um, the, right below the answer to the question, which is two paragraphs long. So I'm not going to read it to you. I know that you all know how to read. Um, Right. Underneath it, it has, you can vote for whether that was a good answer or a bad answer. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but you can also, uh, what I usually do is I'll then give them a little question uh, that says, hey, was, you know, uh, did you get what you needed? Do you need to ask another question? Um, so this is this uh, little example here over at uh, TrueChat is built to kind of help you understand ask questions, get answers. Uh, and, uh, and the next one I'm going to type in is, can you tell me a joke? Because this is, if you think, of, if you think about it, this is getting to be a little bit like, uh, a little bit like, you know, Siri, uh, voice command type stuff, except this is using, and Siri uses AI. Um, this is, this is that counterpart on a chatbot. So if you think of the questions that you ask Siri, what if people could come to your website and start asking you any types of questions that they want and getting these answers that are already programmed in back? Um, so, uh, and, and now it's telling me a joke. Uh, why did the coffee call the cops? He was being mugged. Okay, um, I'm going to mark good answer on that. Um, very funny. Um, so, and then it says, it'll say police in another question down there. So this is very interesting to me. I the guys at true chat saw me, saw, showed me this yesterday and I began to get, uh, some really great ideas, uh, for not just, you know, uh, that thing coming up on your website saying, Hey, can I help you or whatever, which everybody has nowadays. But having a real customer service portal uh, with, hey, all the clients go to this particular page um, and having that stuff loaded one time. The only thing you have to do is train your people uh, at that point. The only thing you have to do is train your people to, I'm going to come back here. The only thing you have to do is train your people then. 
um, to go to a certain place. And I have this working in certain, uh, for certain clients already working, working on building it for others. But wouldn't it be great to not have to have repetitive answers all the time, especially folks who have great big programs going on during a launch? How many questions are you answering that are already printed somewhere else? These, most of these questions, you know, people don't really read websites anymore. Here's why. It's not because people are, you know, don't pay attention or don't care. That's not the reason people aren't reading your website from cover to cover, okay? The reason that people aren't reading it is because we have an on-demand mentality now. Thanks, Netflix. Um, what we have now is... Uh, I just need the answer to one question and then I'm out. I don't need to start a conversation. I don't need to make an appointment with someone. I don't need to do all of these other things. I want to, I, I just need this one answer and that's gonna help me plan my trip, uh, plan out my homework for this weekend on the course material. Uh, it's gonna help me know that if I'm registered or not for the event, all of these things these things can be done and true check into it. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, if you want to go hit that page up and just look at it, just take a look and see what it can do. Um, I invite you to do so because I think that it's going to be very, very interesting moving forward, looking at what we're doing for customer service, what we can do and opening up those opportunities for us to white glove service our clients without having to be right there in person. I know it's exciting, babies. That's why I put it on this show because we're full of exciting stuff and uh, we're back. We're back. Uh, we're back at 10 o'clock weekdays. Uh, I will be here actually tomorrow, Friday. I'm going to be away, going to be flying to Phoenix, babies. So I will not be here for the show, but you know, I love you and I'll do my best to go live wherever I am. If I'm not in a plane that doesn't have Wi-Fi. And even if I am in a plane, I probably won't do the show anyway. You guys are the best. Thanks for being my audience. And for today, we'll just play some dojo music. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all in a box.